Hey guys, it's Christopher, and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. In this video, we will explain the HUD, the head up display, which means um, the additional information displayed on the screen here, for example, hearts, rupees, and the item icon. So, um, the a link to the past resource pack now contains these three HUD elements. Um, they were not in the pack before at the time I recorded previous videos, but um, it doesn't really change anything about previous tutorials. Uh, yeah, it just means that maybe you had them and I did not. But um, I'm going to explain how to change them, how to add other HUD elements and how to remove them if you want. <laughs> so there is no particular um, HUD features provided in the engine, but it's all done in, in pure Lua, Lua scripting. So in the I think the past resource pack you have this HUD script. The main HUD script is here. But the most important file is hudconfig.lua. It is a file that just contains the list of HUD elements that you want. For example, the the hard displayer, the hard meter is here, the repeat counter and the item icon. <coughs> so um for each element you have the name of a Lua script that displays uh, that displays the element so hearts.lua in for for this one and then the coordinates where you want to uh display them for, and if coordinate if a coordinate is negative it means t to count from the right of the of the screen if it's x or from the bottom if it's if it's uh, y so for example um you could very well change this like this and maybe like this and then you will have the hearts to the on the left and the item icon on the right okay undo or you can just uh, remove something if you don't want it Okay, I just remove the item icon. <coughs> um, and for the particular case of item, there is an, another parameter here, slot. Because the engine um, supports assigning item to two slots. Slot 1 and slot 2. So, we could very well do that. Um, I don't know, 64. And now your game can show two items assigned to uh, some keyboard keys. Um, okay. So these are the, the current HUD elements in the last version of the Adding to the Past Resource Pack. Um, which is 1.5.6 and you can also copy a lot of other I, a lot of other elements from my games and in particular from Zelda Only Link Begins which is currently in development or Zelda Mercury's Chest also currently in development but um they have modern hot code. My previously my games did not have this this very nice list. It it was a bit harder to do. But um you you can you can still pick any HUD, HUD element script from these games. Even from older games. And th that's what we will do right now. We will try to replace the item icon here 
by the more modern um, item icons and action icons from Zelda Mystery of Solarius DX. They are also the same in, in the development version of Zelda Mercury's Chest. So, why don't we download Zelda Mercury's Chest the development version? Download zip here. I will put the uh, the address in the description of the YouTube video. Download zip. Okay, save. <coughs> And if you go to data scripts HUD, you also have a HUD config.lua file. And by the way, you can see it in the web version here. So these are the HUD elements from Mercury's chest. The HUD displayer, which by the way is a bit different from the Zelda Link to the Past resource pack. The magic bar, the rupee counter, it's also different. There's a small key counter, there is a floor view. So this displays the, f the current floor of a dungeon for a few seconds when you, when you get to a new floor. And then you have the icons. So this is what we want. Pause icon, item icon, second item icon, attack icon, and action icon. So. I copy paste the code here to declare all five elements and let's put them here instead of the basic item icon. <coughs> okay, so this means that we need to pick the Lua code of these scripts. So back to the downloaded archive here, we need action icon, attack icon, item icon, and pause icon. Extract. Mm. Where is my quest? Here. No. <laughs> Scripts. HUD. Okay. So, I picked the four Lua scripts, but of course there are some sprites um, displayed by all these scripts, and they are in sprites HUD here. So, which one do we want? Everything about icons, actually. Um, so, action icon, icon flip, item icon 1 and 2. Pose icon and sword icon. Extract and let's put this in sprites HUD. Extract. Okay. And this is not finished. <laughs> if you try to execute it, you will have a very small problem, and that's because the action icons display some language specific text I mean some language specific images um, I haven't talked a lot about this yet in previous tutorials but um, basically you also need to go in the languages folder and to pick um, action icon, pose icon and sword icon because these, these are PNGs that contain some I can't open this some text. So of course they will change depending on the language. Note that it would be very possible to improve this and um, and to to show the text from code and not f not to put s the text in directly into the PNG. But um, it was made like this the first time and I haven't improved it yet so far so languages your language then images okay and this should be enough 
back to the quest editor. Um, we should see the sprites here, but they are not added to the project just yet. Oops. Add. Um, wait, hang on. I open the the French quest editor, so let's open the English one. <laughs> it's the same project, just. Uh, it yeah, just changed the language of the editor. Okay, so add, add to quest as sprite action icon, pause icon, and sword icon. Okay, <coughs> let's try this. Okay, nice. We have our. Uh, Nice little icons here, like in Zelda Mystery of Solaris DX. So, if you get close to something where the the action key has an effect, here to open the door, the action icon will show show up like this. So it's really the same as uh, Zelda Mystery of Solaris DX. Here you can grab. So okay, you understand the the idea. You you can you you can make the HUD uh, like you want. Either very similar to a link to the past, like in my games, um, Zelda: Return of the Hellion and Zelda: Oniling Begins. I mean my games. <laughs> uh, th they are remakes of existing games. Or more like here in the um, similar, more similar to Ocarina of Time, with the action icon and the item icons. Um, if you also pick the the heart meter and the rupee counter from um, Zelda Mercury's Chest or Zelda Solaris DX, they are also a bit different, especially the heart meter. Because here, um, hearts can be split in two. So, the player has six point, six life points here. But um, in uh, Zelda Mr. Solaris DX or Mercury's Chest, um, six life points would mean only one heart and a half. Because hearts can be split, uh, split it in four instead of two and the hard displayer is a bit different uh, okay uh, okay you can close this let's see one more time what we have here okay in the time we stressed you have these you can also pick the small key counter and the magic bar, but I haven't made any tutorials yet about um, how to implement how to implement a small key counter. Um, for magic is easier; it's just um, game get magic and set magic. And you can also see Zelda Needling begins here. Data scripts. So as I was saying, in this one, the HUD is more in the style of A Link to the Past. And you have an arrow counter, a bomb counter, like in A Link to the Past. Um, and by the way, the PNG elements to do them are already in the, in the Solaris A Link to the Past resource pack. Even though the, um, the scripts are not used. Are not the head elements are not present. Then you have the same stuff as in uh, the the um, the Le Mystery of Sorrows DX or Mercury's Chest, but again more in the style of Link to the Past. And you have this one, which is a new one. It, it's a, 
it displays the life of the boss when there is a boss fight. So this is a bit original. Um, we don't usually usually have this in in a Zelda game. But um, okay, so again, you can uh, pick individual element scripts here. The one you want, the ones you want from several projects, and then you update your list of elements here, and it will work. If you want to do your own HUD elements or to modify existing ones, well, here we go. <laughs> you have to change the code here or to make your own. And again, you, you must implement the new function here with a parameter game and a parameter config. And the config parameter is exactly this table. So as you might guess, the config parameter of the of the item script will look for this additional value at some point. Config dot slot. And then um, this builder stuff here. The new function um, creates a table, and the table is actually a, a Solaris menu. So, you can check the documentation about menus. But if you don't remember, um, I talk about them in a previous tutorial. It was a tutorial about how to display a picture on the screen. Which is basically uh, what the HUD does. Um, okay, that's it for this episode. If you have uh, any problem uh, making your HUD, your HUD, feel free to um, register on the Solaris forums and to ask for help. Um, don't do it in the YouTube comments because it's, it's very hard to explain code just in, in YouTube comments if you have um, complicated questions. But on the forum is very very nice. Okay, um, I hope it was clear. A, l a lot of you guys previously asked about how to make a HUD. I hope this these scripts will help. And see you next time. Bye.